It's really great to have my friend Alex from Near Protocol today. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Alex, uh, just for the audience, uh, can you tell a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Near Protocol along with Ilya. Mm -hmm. uh, Near started around 2018. Mm -hmm. It's live. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a uh, it's a sharded blockchain with the emphasis on usability. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, we're trying to give people back the uh, the power over their money, over their governance and data. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's us. Yeah, Alex, you also spend a lot of time in AI, for sure, like a uh, whole engineering background in database. How did it shape you, uh, both with the journey, but also the design of near protocol? I don't think... I don't think AI influenced much the design of the protocol. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah there, there isn't much connection. I think, I yeah. think AI was a... Uh, was a hype. Yeah. Ilya and I liked it. Uh, <laughs> now you're calling it out, huh? Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we didn't find ourselves belonging there. I, th I think AI is for slightly different people. It's, uh, it's people who want to be yep. writing papers. <laughs> uh, well, Ilya yeah. for sure as a researcher. Yeah, yeah I, th I think blo blockchain is very, very different. Blockchain is where people have way more ambitions. People, mm -hmm. you know, people, people get, like want to get to the stars, yep. change the world. So, so I think blockchain is a better, more healthy ecosystem. Wow. It's nice here. I, I like the way you put it. But even with uh, um, MemSQL, right, you really have been one of the very few people that understand database design architecture, if not even sharding in particular. Um, there are, of course, lots of the engineering that goes through with the database that all the distributed systems have to relearn. Yeah. Did you also find other parallels uh, through, 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 through the journey? So, with me, yeah, there's more common with MemSQL. Mm -hmm. MemSQL is a distributed system, so it's mm -hmm. close. Mm -hmm. um, the ecosystems are still very different. Databases ecosystem is, uh, um, you know, databases already built. Mm -hmm. Very few new databases start every year. So, yeah. <laughs> like if you if you're a hungry person, yeah. wa wanting, you know, something something interesting in your life, you're probably not going to go into databases. So it's a very <laughs> different world. It's a very different ecosystem. Right. It's it's a more mature yeah. ecosystem with more mature players. Yeah. So I think MySQL was one of the more more recent contenders. Yeah. Uh, so. So it's, it's very similar technologically, very, mm -hmm. very interesting also to, to build it. And uh, mm -hmm. most of the very strong system engineers mm -hmm. who, whom I met, some of them work for near today, some of them I still for sure. uh, maintain connections. They, like I met them in MemSQL, but, mm -hmm. but blockchain space is different. Uh, <laughs> you keep saying yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's where the part um, now to talk how like both of the project learn from like Ethereum, but now also understanding the design of the bridge. And doing the bridge, I've seen the blog post, right? That we really talk about like, so much about guest optimization and different BOS uh, curves and parameters to optimize for. That's also a uh, engineer's dream as well to talk about all these hard engineering problems. What's your take on that? What's my take on that? Uh, I, I think I think a big part of that is that uh, blockchain space is not only mm -hmm. uh, uh, the place where you're most likely gonna gonna find some ways to mm -hmm. to change the world to the better. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also the space which is heavily unexplored, right? right? So totally. so bridges today bridges are pretty ubiquitous, right? But yeah. when did we start building bridges? 2019. So it was <laughs> it was two years ago, right? On, on right. the scale of of innovation, it was yesterday, right? So two years ago there was. <laughs> right like maybe like two bridges and they were pretty totally. garbagey like in existence yeah. right today we have uh, today yeah, pro probably from any blockchain guys, to yeah. any other blockchain mm -hmm. with one or, or two hops you can you can you can send your right. erc20 token right uh, so all of that happens and uh, happened in the last two years and, yeah. and there are plenty of those uh, other super interesting problems to be solved uh, still waiting for people. Uh, I would say so. Even the connectivity hasn't been solved yet, let alone of like how all these, like, uh, as you call it, right, uh, composability, even across a, a synchronous network. It's just awesome that you you guys have been uh, getting to know the optics team and for sure Anton. Now with Un Run Inch, like really build the whole inner circle of engineers. That uh, I heard you guys went through like what fifty hackathons in events to like really get to know the community. How was the, the whole world tour in 2019 shaped the uh, uh, Near's journey? Interesting question. Yeah. Um, I, th I think that's table stakes, right, in, mm. uh, in the ecosystem. Yeah. I think like for, for I, I, was, uh, I was having dinner yesterday with a couple of event managers and okay. they, they, they heavily stressed people, you know, they like... They, they <laughs> <laughs> with the yeah. scanning. Yeah. Uh, because uh, I, saw, I saw their trellos, yeah. right? And it's 
like events until the end of the year, the yeah. events she was scrolling. Yeah. Uh, there, there, are, there are like still still dozens of events left, and it's what, know, what is it's to the end of possible. October, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so like like ju they, they just finished one event, they're already organizing the other. Right. I think 2019 was slightly less crazy. Yeah. But it was still pretty crazy. And, yeah. Uh, um, and uh, there are like some diminishing returns. So mm -hmm. so in 2018, 2019. Yeah. Uh, ecosystem was already pretty populated, but still, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can get to an event, you can yeah. have quite a bit of exposure, people will notice you. Totally. Today you go to an event, there's how many? Yeah. How many sponsors this event has? Like, like, like probably, right. actually, I don't know if Lisbon, but, but some other events have like oh, dozens, this right? Oh, like 30, 40. Yes, exactly. So yeah. it's way harder to get noticed. Yeah. So, so you actually have to be everywhere. You have to be <laughs> omnipresent so that people constantly see you, like so that your logo For sure. gets into their minds. So it's right. way harder today. Yeah. Uh, so, but, but that's the thing, right? You cannot, uh, you cannot, you cannot just do what people were doing in 2019 mm -hmm. and, and and hope to be noticed, right? Exactly. You, you need to improvise. You need to find something new. So today, sponsoring an event is not, or like organizing an event. Yeah. That's not the way you get noticed. You need right. something new, right? right? So so someone will will come up with something new. Right, right. Uh, yeah, people will remember them. Yeah, it's really incredible that I still remember that you you're going to everywhere to speak, but also engaging almost a world tour right at that time, and now coming back here, congratulations and finally getting the whole DAO, but especially the proximity fund started. Can you can you tell us uh, like your thought on like, how to make more DAOs of like near uh, of the church rate, but also many of the projects? So launching DAO today is very simple. Mm -hmm. um, on near specifically, just go to Sputnik DAO. It's like two clicks. <laughs> I know you, you bring your friends. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and uh, great site. Yeah. And you have you have them on board. So pro proximity mm -hmm. is a DeFi focused mm -hmm. lab on near. Yeah. They're building lending. They're building some other mm -hmm. projects mm -hmm. uh, to to uh, bootstrap a, a healthy mm -hmm. DeFi ecosystem. Mm -hmm. so, so in DeFi, you would usually expect people to be mm -hmm. tech savvy. Yeah. Right. They probably don't need everything that Sputnik has to offer. But Sputnik also, right. if you're launching DAOs around NFTs or if you're launching DAOs around music, around mm -hmm. education, etc., yeah. this is where Sputnik uh, becomes mm -hmm. uh, ha has some competitive advantages because mm -hmm. it's it's way easier for people to onboard mm -hmm. on near yeah. where you can have like uh, human read readable accounts yeah. where. Uh, there's a very easy to use web wallet, etc. Yeah. Um, uh, there, there's a couple other very interesting projects around. There's this thing called uh, Rocketo, where mm -hmm. you can easily set up streaming payments. So if you have DAO and That's you right. like, hire yeah. people, yeah. it's very so easy to, to set up. Yeah. Uh, also, well, you mentioned the bridge, right? So all the stable tokens are available. That's right. So, so you don't have to pay them in volatile assets. You can you can pay them in something they understand. Of course. Um, I generally think that DAO has a chance of being. We were all hoping that would be the next wave after mm -hmm. NFTs, but well, the metaverse is <laughs> is picking well, up. First. I guess I guess DAOs are not quite ready yet for 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 general yeah, public to it, yeah. yeah to jump on the trend. But I think DAOs will eventually mm -hmm. become uh, a very big thing mm -hmm. because people do need a way to self-organize. Mm -hmm. the, the the ways they have today are exactly not great to mm -hmm. say the least, mm -hmm. right? So DAOs, uh, I, I think big big problems today is that. Mm -hmm. Uh, still, it's not as as accessible to people, right? Mm -hmm. So for like for random person, mm -hmm. even just to understand what DAO has to offer, let yeah. alone actually get to participate, is still a little hard. Yeah. So it needs to get easier. Yeah. Like NFT today, if you go to OpenSea, yeah. you don't need to have any you just look at technical, the image, right? or yeah. or even better, like Coinbase, right? I don't right. know if they launched or not, but I'm sure so, on Coinbase it will be yeah. one click and you have the picture. Yeah. Well, uh, well, the great thing is, yeah, yet. but the great thing is you guys already start experimenting with like hundreds of these DAOs, right? Setting up yes, tools yes. to make it happen. Yeah, practically everything. So Aurora has a DAO. <laughs> yeah. Uh, proximity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the right way to do it. I, I, also, the open forum, even so many of the roadmap, you guys put it out in the open. That's inspiration for many of us. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and the last question would be: You still very care and uh, focus on the core protocols. What are some of the like uh, interesting and challenging problems so that like we get more people uh, still really caring and really work on the hard problems? Uh, there are many of them. Mm -hmm. uh, there is still plenty, mm -hmm. especially if someone if someone is young today. Yeah. Uh, if you're young today <laughs> uh, and you're going to college, go and learn math. Yeah. Uh, get to crypto. <laughs> they, this is where money gonna be. Uh, right. Exactly. So, so, to, so today, people who understand zero knowledge proofs, who understand that's elliptic right. curves, they they in a, in a massive demand. Yeah. Right. Totally. Uh, and I think that's going to remain for a while. So, so it's a very good investment of time. Exactly. Um, besides that, I think uh, I still primarily research sharding. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So there was quite a bit of breakthroughs around mm -hmm. late 2018, early 2019. Mm -hmm. Then we were building, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Not just us, but everybody in the ecosystem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so now. We see 
most of the mm -hmm. protocols launched. Mm -hmm. So so the the vision we've had at the end of 2018 mm -hmm. is live, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it has problems, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's way, it's way harder for people to think asynchronously, mm -hmm. uh, or if it's a bunch of synchronous shards, then composability suffers. So oh, that's yeah. the next frontier. Can we build uh, a nice composable blockchain with like AC transaction guarantees, uh, but horizontally scalable? So that's where where my eyes are. That's really is the future. Looking, Asynchronous yeah. um, composability, but have some kind of like uniform guarantee, right? That's what really yes. shard yes, should be all about. If we can get, what is it called? Uh, Mm -hmm. Reserializable mm -hmm. on on blockchain with the uh, with multiple shards that would be incredible, uh, so that's uh, that would be nice. Th that's something interesting too. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly, to you said that's the future. Well, thank you, Alex, today for the chat. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. Mm -hmm.